The Yankees are not only the richest team in baseball, they're one of the biggest corporations in the entire world. When you think about how much players are getting paid, think of them as the most valuable employees in a multi-billion dollar corporation. It's not uncommon for top executives to make 30, 40 million dollars a year. Since the year 2000, the Yankees have handed out nine 100 plus million dollar contracts. These are the top five contracts ever received by Yankee players and how they've worked out so far. Number five, CC Sabathia, $161 million from 2009 through 2015. It's hard to overstate just how coveted CC Sabathia was when he was a free agent before 2009. He was coming off of a Cy Young season and was in his prime, a hard throwing, big left handed pitcher who would lead the Yankees to the 2009 World Series and making 198 starts over the life of that contract, averaging 28 starts per season, 190 innings pitched, about 14 wins per season, and a 3.73 ERA. He was the 2009 ALCS MVP. Number four, Mark Teixeira, eight years, $180 million from 2009 through 2016. Mark Teixeira was an all-star in 2009, hitting 39 home runs, knocking in 122 and winning a gold glove. Teixeira's contract wasn't quite as productive as CeCe's. He struggled to adapt to the shift and in the latter parts of the contract had difficulty staying on the field. He did post an OPS plus of 118 and an OPS of 822 while averaging 26 home runs and 78 RBIs per season. He was also an outstanding defensive first baseman. Number three, Derek Jeter. 189 million from 2001 to 2010 it was a 10-year contract and Jeter was in his prime he was coming off of a great season in 2000 he had just won the World Series MVP and he was such a New York icon that that contract definitely paid for itself his numbers on the field were terrific over those 10 years he averaged 151 games played a 310 batting average 16 home runs and 72 RBIs he averaged 32 doubles per season. And over those 10 years, he had four top 10 MVP finishes. He also made eight all-star games and won five gold gloves over the life of the contract. Number two, Alex Rodriguez. Alex Rodriguez's contract was the second $200 million contract that he signed in his career after opting out of his first one during the 2007 World Series. A-Rod signed a 10-year, $275 million contract that began in the 2008 season and ran through the 2017 season. This contract became kind of an albatross on the Yankees roster. Though he did help them win the 2009 World Series, he averaged just 110 games and 22 home runs over the life of the contract. His tenure was ultimately marred with suspensions and steroid scandals. He even tried to sue the team. A-Rod didn't play at all in 2014 and was ultimately released in his age 40 season of 2016 after batting 200 with 9 home runs and 31 RBIs in his first 65 games of the season. And I gotta say, just a side note, it's been remarkable how A-Rod has rehabbed his image, though I wouldn't count on seeing his number 13 in Monument Park anytime soon. And number 1, Garrett Cole, who in the winter of 2019 signed a nine-year, $324 million contract. We'll have to wait and see how this one plays out. The 2020 season has been delayed due to coronavirus, but it can be argued that Garrett Cole just entered his prime last season and could be the missing piece to several Yankees championships. Only time will tell.